Well, happy Saturday, everybody, and I got nothing. <laughs> Kick. Very misleading title. So Cake's the story of Jennifer Aniston's character who suffers from like chronic pain and she's just dealing with life. And that's like the basic premise of the film. I mean the actual story is like Anna Kendrick was in her like therapy group and she committed suicide and now she's like trying to find out how she committed suicide so she can deal with her own personal demons or something like that. But let's just break this film down for you. So first of all, I've heard praises about Jennifer Aniston in this film. She was nominated for the Golden Globe for Best Actress, but didn't win. Something tells me she was going for the Oscar, but obviously she didn't get nominated, so she must have dropped the ball somewhere. But I will admit, she was actually really good in this film as the character she was, which was, I have to admit, a very, very using bitch, which is really what she is in this film. Someone even calls her a using bitch in this film something like that anyway and she is and for that reason you don't care about her character anyway because she starts off she's in chronic pain and no offense to anyone who's in chronic pain i assure you that some your life might be like this but she's just a really not good person and she just she takes like pills all the time she always drinks she's just really lazy relies on her housekeeper or something to do everything for her and i just didn't like her i really did not like her character i liked the performance she was really good but just the character i didn't like her at all my favourite performance in this film was actually Anna Kendrick's, which is actually really funny because she's in like, what, 15% of the film and she's a hallucination <laughs> because she's the woman who committed suicide like before the film starts and she just appears to Jennifer Aniston in all these hallucinations and she's like tormenting her a little bit. I actually liked her, I thought she was a really good part for a hallucination who's not in the film that much. Sam Worthington's in this film and yeah, I'm just waiting for Avatar 2, 3 and 4 to come out now because I think those are the only, that's the only film he's ever actually been good in is Avatar so I'm just waiting for the Avatar sequels in this film what did he even do in this film? I don't even, he's just like, he's like the husband of Anna Kendrick and Jennifer Aniston starts talking to him and, I, and you're like are they actually gonna have a romance because they actually don't but they do but they don't confusing stuff and Sam Worthington anyone could have played him any Australian guy could have played him so meh nah. Now much to my surprise, I thought this film would actually have a lot of critical praise, but on Rotten Tomatoes that's like 44% or something, which are like, okay, since she's been nominated for Golden Globe, they expect the film to be like, really well received, but it wasn't, 44%, that's not a lot, and I do see why, because this film is pretty boring. I mean, the first half of the film, she's like trying to find out how Anna Kendrick's character, like, well, what happened during her suicide stuff, and then all of a sudden it just completely drops that storyline, and then now she's she's trying to deal with her stuff, you're like, oh, now she doesn't really care about Anna Kendrick's suicide anymore. I mean, she does reappear, Anna Kendrick, throughout the rest of the film, but you just, she just doesn't care about the thing anymore. Okay, I guess. The film sometimes doesn't even feel like it has a story to it. I mean, things are just happening in the film, and it's like, what's the actual story of this film? I mean, I know she's trying to, like, get better and things like that, but things are happening. She's going around to Sam Worthington's house. He's coming over for dinner, bringing his kid and stuff. And, like, what actually is the story? There's, it just didn't feel like there were a story to the film, just watching someone's life. It felt like a soap opera. That's what it felt like, a really long soap opera. So in the end, Kate, yeah, Jennifer Aniston was really good in the film, so was Anna Kendrick, The Hallucination. Uh, the rest of the cast was functional, but could have been played by other people. The story's not really as emotionally what as it wants to be. It's not necessarily that dramatic as it wants to be, and it's just a boring film where not a lot happens and it just pretty much feels like there's no story to it and you don't care about her, any of the characters, anyway. So, I'd say skip this film entirely. So I'm gonna give Cake a 2 out of 5. But if there is the off chance that you have seen Cake, what did you think about it? Have you thought so, I put them down there and if you like this video and you wanna see more, then click here to do the subscribe thing.